Hello there, this is Diane from Stamping with Diane in Innisfil, Ontario, and today I'm going to show you this beautiful seasonal card made using the Framed Florets uh, Suite. So it comes with the Framed Florets dies, the Framed Florets stamp set, and as well, just until the end of December, the Framed and Festive um, Sentiment stamp set. All of these sentiments fit beautifully into some of the frames that come with the dies. There's some gorgeous oval frames. There's other frames that will cut exactly around this, the floral and greenery images in the stamp set. So today we're not using these ones, but this series also comes again for a limited time. It comes with this beautiful uh, designer paper. There are three sheets that have the white base with floral images and then there are some sheets that have the greens, blues, and I think I'm missing one here right now, uh, and the green which could be used for Christmas. And the other side we've got these patterns which could be used year round for any season. I, I could see these moving into the spring um, as I'm making Easter, Mother's Day and happy birthday cards. So gorgeous paper, again, a limited time only, will only be on our website until the end of December. So let's see what I'm making today. I'm gonna start off with a soft sea foam, uh, sorry, <laughs> soft succulent card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, but I have scored it not down the center. I have scored it at the one and a half. Yes, one and a half. Then I've left the four and a quarter in the center and scored from this side as well. So let me bring in the bone folder. Remember the bump, the mountain goes to the inside of your card. So as I score that down or varnish that down with my bone folder, we're now gonna have a card that has a little bit different opening to it. Okay, next I've used our Holly's, uh, Bows of Holly seasonal paper and I've cut a strip to fit on uh, the front and a matching strip to go on this side. Now we could leave it this way or you could decide to flip it over, beautiful, or flip this side over. So that's where you can make the choice as to how you want that to look on your card because we are going to be layering in. So let's build the layers first before we decide how we're going to do that. So I've used our florets <coughs> frames to die cut. Again, this one is in the soft succulent. Then I've used this die, which fits in nicely, but it creates the frame that has this texture to it. So I've done that one in shaded spruce. Then here's the piece that came out of the center in our soft succulent, which I am going to make use of. And then I did the similar thing using the um, very vanilla. So I've die cut an oval with that very vanilla. So let's go ahead and uh, choose a sentiment. I'm gonna use the framed and festive and I've chosen may this season be filled with peace and joy. And I'm going to stamp that using my Versamark onto my oval and then I'm going to bring in my gold heat embossing powder and uh, finish this off with a gold heat embossing. And here's how that turned out. Gorgeous, I love it. So I'm gonna make use of these back pieces in order to hold everything together. So let's put a little bit of white glue around the outside and I'll put a bit on the inside and we're gonna layer our, our sentiment right in the center of this oval. Now remember this oval came from the inside of the die cut here. And then I'm gonna layer our shaded spruce on top of that. Now you'll see it just fits exactly. So this is why having that 
inside of this oval handy to hold all that together. Now this one as well is just going to sit right on top so I don't really have a spot to glue that until I uh, put the card together. So let's lay it out. I also have some gold embellishments that we're going to be placing on here. So we need to decide if we want both sides with the bright. Oh, kind of like that. I think I'm going to do it that way. And then we're going to put some of these gold pieces around in here. Okay, so let's put those, uh, I'm going to adhere these strips onto my card base, first of all. And for this, I'm going to use my seal, stamp and seal. And again, this is the Boughs of Holly designer series paper. I love the rich, rich, rich tones of these, uh, the green and the beautiful red. So pop that on that side and I've decided to make both sides the same. Remember we talked about you can make your own choice there as to how you want your card to look. And now as I'm closing this up, I'm being mindful to line up the top and the bottom. Okay, so we've got that matching. Now these dies also came from the flame, framed florets and I've die cut them on gold foil but I remembered to put a, an adhesive sheet on the back. So this is going to make putting this on my card a whole lot easier as long as I can get it started. So I'm gonna peel this off. And as I remove the backing, it generally pulls out the little bits as well. And now I'm just gonna set my frame on here so I know about where it's going to sit. So if it's sitting about there, then I want one of these gold pieces below, maybe about here. And just press that on, so easy when you use our adhesive back sheets. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Got to get it started. And remove the backing. Got one little piece in there. There we go. And again, I'll set my frame in place approximately where it's going to sit. And I'll put my other gold piece up here. All right, before I put that front on, let's put the inside piece in, and I've chosen the very vanilla for the inside of my card because this, of course, is gonna match with the, the layer which has our sentiment. Centering that, so this is just our regular four by five and a quarter to fit in here. We've got our door opening. And next step is, I'm going to adhere my label. So here's where you need to decide, do you want your piece to be attached on this side or on this side? My recommendation is you put your label on the wider side. Now you could have built your card this way with the wider side on the right, that's up to you. So my advice is to adhere it to this side. So we don't want glue all over this. We just want it at just past the halfway point. So I'm gonna put it upside down like so. And I'm gonna run a strip of adhesive. And I haven't gone quite, to, there we go, about at the halfway mark. Lining this up. There we go and pressing that into place. So now I don't have anything on that end. All right, now to get our frame on here, we're just going to put little daubs of glue, again, around on this side and not on this side. I'll use our dots. 
and I just tend to put the dots along where it is the thickest amount of paper. And again, I just am going slightly past the halfway point and lots of dots of glue here to hold this in place on our card front. As I flip around, come at it from above with your card closed, lining this up as best you can. Oh, I've got one little poke showing through here. My take your pick tool is not handy. There we go. And now I think I can put a wee bit more just around the inside here. And the nice thing about our white glue is it does dry clear. So if I have a little bit smooshing out, it will be okay. Putting this down and pressing it into place. Now we could embellish this with a few gold uh, gems down at the side. And for that, I'm going to use our pastel adhesive backed sequins. And I'm just going to pull a few and let them coordinate to pull in the gold from the top and the gold from our embossing. And there we have it, this beautiful holiday card. Again, you could choose the sentiment of choice for your holiday wishes. Have yourself a Merry Christmas from our home to yours, or may this season be jolly. Tis the season to be jolly. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to shop at my online store and remember that this is a limited time. The Framed and Festive is only available till the end of December, as well as the designer series paper. Bye for now, my friends.